Okay, this is a good video. I'm gonna show you how to put myself in a horrible position to miss the break. Luckily nothing happened. Uh, I just got yelled at there because I went around the yellow line for like two seconds for the guy that wasn't going. <clears throat> Don't do that. Uh, Espinoza del Diablo P123 Masters race. I think it was like everybody. There's like 35, 40 people because road racing seems to be dying. Um, handful of Cat 1s. Sm small handful. Like a, a small infant's hand. Uh, an adult size handful of Cat 2s. Some more Cat 3s. And then the Masters group 35 plus that has like 1, 2s, and 3s. Uh, the usual suspects through Tennessee, there was one team that I did not know that was purple, so that's exciting because you're like, who are these guys? Um, <clears throat> people like these stats off the bat, so let's do that. First 40 minutes after the initial attacks fire off in a little while, uh, normalized 407 for 40 minutes, average 156 BPM because my uh, heart rate never goes high, 25 and a half miles an hour. Um, 855 kilojoules. <clears throat> first hour and a half, normalized 380. So it was interesting to see how hard, you know, the first 40 was rated threshold normalized. So you got to be able to at least do that to be in the break. Um, I got to the race late. I usually warm up. My warm up in road races is I ride around for at least 20 minutes just to make sure your bike's working, make sure everything's good, make sure the legs feel good. Um, I'll do a couple kicks. Uh, usually I like to go from the gun. I got here late because it started very early and it was an hour and a half drive from Nashville where I was crashing at because I live in Memphis. Um, there's Kyle Teasler, smash, smash guy. So we're going to watch out for him. Uh, the Nashville local dudes, uh, the team I don't know, John Hart, um, Hattie B's, Taylor right there. And, yeah, you never know who's going to mix up. This road's not very wide, though. So this is a great place to start talking about why am I back here? This is horrible. This is so dumb. What if people just start, like, flying off the front when we hit the first climb, which is very soon? Um, very possible. And the first climb is you can do enough damage last year. I know we want to ham up it. But you're doing 400-plus to get up and over it. And, uh... Yeah, just not good positioning. So really in a road race, you know, it's funny people will say, and they say it in a crit too, but in any race, they say, oh, I got boxed in. No, man, you boxed yourself in. Like, I'm giving myself no chance of going with anything right now. I wasn't too worried because Kyle's back there, and I kind of wanted to just, this course is just so undulating that you, it's attrition. And there's a couple very steep pitches that it's just going to split the group. But still, uh, you should be aware of what's going on. And I mean, right now I'm just in the middle, middle back. I'd say 10 people could easily roll off right now. And I would have to push my way through to be able to go. So don't do that. This is just a bad spot. I decide that there is one or two guys up the road at this point. Not super pumped about that. So I'm going to go around these guys and, uh, you know, let's start racing. I mean, we're going up the first climb and we're kind of in a group. Let's do something. So right about now, I kick. I did not go over the yellow because that uh, ref was had already yelled at me and said, I'm watching out for you. And I said, okay. So that is TJ, I think. Let's see. Everybody comes. I'm on John Hart's wheel. We'll just cruise. He's in the Masters race, so he's just trying to get away from guys that don't want to ride. Is that John? No, that's John Hart. I don't know who this dude is in front of me. But I'm like, well, I'm not going to chase John Hart. Somebody else can go get him. One thing you don't want to do sometimes, you know, even though I don't, so I'm not racing this one, two, three, four, and Masters. I'm racing this as a road race. Whoever wins, wins. Like, I don't want to come in third and have 
John Hart um, win, let's say. So I'm just making sure these watts are, are right. I guess I could be coasting right now still. Yeah, okay. Um, but if you chase down everything early in the beginning, people are just going to expect that of you and they're going to look to you. It's like we're creatures of habit. If you see the same person chasing all the time, the other people are less likely to chase. So I figured, whatever, John, go up the road, be my guest. Someone else is going to have to bring that back. And it's pretty fast at times, so staying away the whole time for 70 miles is a big ask. But that's kind of John's MO, it seems like, so more power to him. I'm just going to stay towards the front. Don't worry, things pick up pretty quickly. Uh, was that David Koontz? Yeah. Scott Rollins. Scott Rollins, he was another guy I was thinking of. I was um, thinking he'd be doing something today. And there's David from Hattie B's. Whitney, what's up? Ripper! Whitney's fun on Instagram. We talk about a lot of different bike stuff. Witty wit, something like that. At um, there's also a guy from Jackson Velo. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on his name, but he's the guy that I rode with at that Grand Fondo I did. Um, Chair Hollow Challenge. Super strong, so he could put something out, and there's a lot of question marks. So TJ gets in my wheel. There's a point where we like we're gonna come to almost a dead stop because no somebody wouldn't go around me. I was like, well, I'm just gonna hang out here. I don't know what you guys want me to do. Also, so we have cadence there below cadence. We have heart rate below that. We have elevation. Then the little number going crazy with watts is the uh, just current watts. The one below it is 30 second average. So I pull off, pull, let somebody else take a little turn. That is Koontz. What's up, David? David's not really into chasing right now. It's way too early for his style. I can respect that. Somebody else in Kyle go. Nice roads out here. Did a little riding afterwards and went south. Highly recommend it next year. Get a little group going and really, really nice roads. Um, I did accidentally get on some dirt roads, which I was not excited about, but that happens. This is a really fast part of the course. Did I put speed on there? I didn't put speed on here. That was dumb. That's what I meant to put on here. Dang. Well, learning. Next time we'll have speed. If we average 25, I'd say we're going 40 there. Let's go hard. TJ's coming. I was, was curious who would like really go all in because the group just wasn't, wasn't like, let's really ratchet things up. And this was a good effort. I felt like it was a good effort. Things get, you can see it getting strung out back there. Mm. It's really funny when someone like would do an attack like that and be like, all right, pull through. Don't ever pull through if somebody does that. It's like, dude, you just attacked. You don't have to, don't feel like you gotta pull through unless you're trying to get away. I think the Watts are matched up pretty good. Yeah, I get coasty, coasty there. All right. So at this point, I wish we could see speed. We're going pretty quick. Heart rate's up. We should be catching the other guy soon. And then things get hard.
I'm enjoying this LaCroix peach pear. Really tasty. I'm not going to do the whole video. Climbing up again. And really back to the positioning thing. If there's someone in the race that you don't want to ride in the break with because they might be stronger than you, and you see them sleeping in the back like I was, you should probably attack. Roll the dice, right? I don't know, I would. I'm aggressive though. Oh, a little sleepy again. I want to get to the point where, you know, okay, so speed, and maybe if I could get a zoom, if they had a zoomed in elevation, that'd be really great, because I've seen ones on this before, and it's just not detailed enough, but I guess the elevation on the bottom left here is somewhat helpful, kind of, not really. Um, I'm curious how this break really forms, and I... I almost wish I made the back camera uh, really big because with the teams here, well, you'll see. All right, so we're just riding and kind of want to cut this part of the video out, but too late for that. We're committed. I'm like, well, I guess we'll just cruise until uh, get the course gets hard, because it does get hard. And then one of the dudes comes up that I don't know. Is that Kyle? Kyle says, peace out. Kyle is down to ride. And so I say, I say to TJ, are you just going to sit on my wheel? Okay. Deep down inside, I was like, man, why are these guys letting this guy go? It just doesn't make sense. Kyle's strong. So we went very slow there. I like forced people to pass me. There's the purple squad. Somebody else jumps. Whitney riding with his hands off his bars. That's not a good idea, dude. I says he's not in that like scenario. If you see somebody going off the front, I wouldn't ride with my hands off the bars because people are eventually gonna come flying by you. Moto goes. Hmm, damn, I'm so mad we don't have the speed because we're going pretty fast. Mistakes. Post-race mistakes. <laughs> Appreciate you pointing that hole out or whatever was there. Very kind of you. Chris Baker takes a dig here. Kind of like slow up and then go. TJ's down. He's riding well this year. Who else we got there? Is that Koontz? Oh man, I hope I don't have water the whole time. Come on, drip off. Drip, 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 drip. So I'll put in the notes. People could skip to minute 15, probably. This has been, like, okay exciting, but without the speed. But you know when someone's tucking like that, we're going fast. And we're about to catch our friends.
What's up, guys? We want to come party with you. Assume that's John, Kyle. I don't know why I go to the front here. It's dumb. I think I was thinking people would just keep riding and like we're going fast and we get a little pace line going. So the dude in purple goes, and I don't know him, so I'm like, I'm gonna cover that. I was figuring the other people wouldn't, and the one thing that I don't like to let go is people I don't know. TJ comes, and I was like, ooh, they're gonna let us roll. This dude is is committed, and uh, I would say this is not a good move on his part. He, I don't know him. He probably doesn't know us. Um, you're pulling people that you don't know. People are probably still going to like look back, but I'll get to don't look back too often. But like get a little sense of what's going on because I'm going decently hard behind him. And there's going to be some climbs coming up. Like he's going to be gassed. I, I just don't see this working out well for him. And I was like, this dude, man, I hope this guy doesn't keep this up forever. And then he looks and pulls over, and I look back, and I remember being like, wow, everybody's there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go around him and see what happens. So I go. TJ goes. This is all positioning, right? Like, if you're not at the front, it's just me and TJ in the front. I usually Kyle. And, uh... Dude, the group just sits up. TJ comes around. So TJ flicks me around way too soon. Like, dude, you just, you literally just got in front of me. The whole point is to keep the group up at speed. And he just keeps looking. You just ride, dude. Look sometimes, but you don't have to look. Because then he comes around again and does the same thing and just always looking. So my only thing is like, you're just going to go slower then, right? It's like, what? No, dude, just pull for a second. So literally, that's the break. It's very easy to make a local P12 break. What, it, what is it? Positioning and some sections of very high wattages. Match those, you can get in the break. Um, unfortunately, we lose the back camera coming up pretty soon. I don't know what happened. And then we lose TJ. He flats out. That's a bummer. So the three of us keep rolling. We rolled hard. It was 500 plus watts for a while. Um, it took us a while to get about... 30 seconds, the group chased, but I mean, they're just gone. It's just not played well, poor positioning. I guess that's really it. Um, so not the most interesting video because we're missing the speed and it wasn't like crazy watts all the time. It's just, it's this for a really long time. So this video should more maybe be like how to stay away. I mean, it's a lot of wattage, and the three of us are motivated. What up the hills? Excuse me. Man, I don't want to just think. That sucks that he flatted. It would have been fun for the three of us to roll. I hope I don't flat this weekend. Knock on wood. Um, yeah, we just went really hard. And in the blog, I'll put a picture of the watts. And uh, so we'll say that this is the first 20 minutes. I'll get that for you. But that's all I'm going to comment on. You can watch the rest of the video, see the wattages, but that's it. Visit evoke, E-V-O-Q dot bike. If you want to read some blogs, there goes the back camera. And uh, later we'll go full screen with the, with the uh, I switch it over in a little while. Um, Hey, maybe you have questions. Brendan at evoke.bike is my email. Love to hear from you. Love to hear if you like these videos. Um, I would say I'd rate this one like a 6.5 out of 10. 
which is not that exciting and interesting. But got some more stuff coming up. These road races, this is what the road races are, you know, like moments of you got to be there. And uh, in, in local small races with 30 dudes, it's just be up front, be ready for things to throw down. That's about it. Thanks, guys. See ya.